Yo, what's up guys? We're gonna be playing some 1v1 placements for today. In the last video, we did two 2v2 games and they went pretty well using the new Porsche. I'm back on the Octane for today, trying to get back into our comfort zone. And uh, yeah, gonna be playing some ones games. Let's get into it. Let's get some dubs. Let's see how it goes. All right, we're playing AJ. Off the bat here. Let's see how this goes. I think this is AJG from Complexity and not AJ, like Optic AJ. I think this is AJG. Who also plays a lot of ones and is also very good at them. So we'll see what we can do. Let me just check for you guys to confirm that. Have him added. I do have him added. So this is a pro. Oh no, this is AJ. This is AJ, like the ones player AJ. All right. Interesting. I'm gonna fake this. Considered probably right now a uh, top three one v one player in NA. If not, it's number one at times. So. I mean, we should be losing this in theory, the amount of ones I play these days, but we'll see. Anything is possible in this mode, especially when I have like a pretty, pretty high general knowledge of Rocket League. Feel pretty confident against any player. This is Optic AJ, no longer on Optic, but yeah, this is the... ones player, not the threes player, AJ. This player on uh, Complexity. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about. Very, very solid threes player. Also plays ones, but definitely not to the level that AJ does. Going for a drill bump on me there. Try to force some pressure. Get this corner boost. AJ's strong suit is in the air. Flip resets. I know that, so I'm gonna try to cut down that space as much as I possibly can. Try not to give him those opportunities. And got a nice little air drill bump. Nice. Not too bad. Surprisingly, my kickoff's pretty good. Right now, I'm gonna get a flip. I'm gonna save my flip. Let him hit this away. There we go. Yeah, I'm kind of just outbraining him right now. I'm not gonna lie. He often tries to like brute force with mechanics and ones, and you can do that in ones because you have no one to challenge for you. But um, the mode is very like I don't know what the word is. Like, there's a lot of different ways to play it. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. I'm kind of dominating him right now, I'm not going to lie. And it's crazy though, this is what I find so funny about like, there's these weird uh, biases in Rock League or like, what's the right word? Stigmas, I guess. Like, they think that the skill gap is so massive between ones players and good threes players. It's really not the case. There's so many times I've seen like, someone with Twitch chat be like, you should 1v1 this player, you should 1v1 that player. And then people respond with like, oh, they would get destroyed or, you know, he plays ones and, you know, Squishy doesn't play ones. But the thing is, the ones mode is very like, if you understand the game of Rock League and you can think about what's going to happen, you can pretty much keep up with anybody at the, the top level. Like, yes, they should win more often than not, but because they just have more experience in the mode. But in general, it's not that hard for you to take a game off of those players, in my opinion. Like, it wouldn't be surprising for a player like that to just take a game. I gotta be careful on kickoff though, anyway. Try to focus back up, because that is something that these players should have over you most of the time, is the kickoffs and the way they would play their kickoffs out. Yeah, he's gotten three kickoff goals in like, what, 30 seconds, 35 seconds? So I gotta get control of kickoff, so I try to do something different here. He's gonna know that, but I'm gonna try to slow down. See what he does. 
Didn't have a touch to the corner boost. He's gonna go airborne with that most likely. Nice. If I take my time with this. Try to stay close. Nice, well played. It's a good B, unfortunate though. It's a really good situation for him. He likes being here. Yeah. Unfortunate. Good try on the save though. That'll just be annoying. It's like close. Minute left. I gotta try to keep the ball in spots where you can't get like an air dribble out of it. Ah, uh, demo would have been huge there. I had to defend quick. He got the boost. Really bad for me. That's ah, gonna be a goal, I think. Yeah. Unfortunately, that boost is everything. That boost is the game or not. Nice. Really good control. Yeah, you can see as soon as we got control of kickoffs, like the game became a lot closer. Came a lot harder. Got to be careful kickoffs here. Got to try to stay close here. What a save. And I get the boost. It's gonna be game. Well played. Nice. First one game, one's game in a long time. Like five months. He instantly left. Yeah, he's not happy about that. First one's game in like, I don't even know, bro. Like five, maybe four or five months. Like, doing ranked. It's been a while. So, pretty good win there. Not bad. But as soon as I lost, oh, he's actually SSL already. As soon as I lost control of kickoffs, you could saw, you saw, you got like four goals really quick. That's a lot of what ones is. The problem with ones, that's very different to twos and threes. You don't have someone that can challenge for you. So someone that's really good at getting kickoff possession has boost advantage off the bat, plus a free air dribble that you can't have a teammate challenge for you. And threes, an air dribble doesn't really do much if you have someone insta challenge for you, and then you just wait for the, the reaction after that. So if someone challenges, usually the reaction is a flip, right? Like a, a flip reset, they flip over the challenger, and then you get a free ball. And ones, if you challenge and it's flipped over you, it's just a goal. So. That situation is hard to work around in ones. It's very difficult to um, find a solution for that, especially when you have someone like AJ or someone that's a good ones player in general. Any good ones player is pretty good at having a good kickoff. My kickoff is honestly pretty weak for ones because I haven't really practiced ones kickoffs. I usually in threes, I'm losing my kickoff for my team in specific directions and ones losing kickoff is not very optimal. So my general like way of playing ones is strictly just using my brain as much as possible, like trying to just find ways to like, you know, find the weaknesses in my opponent without even like just without even like spamming certain mechanics or anything like you don't need any of that stuff as long as you're thinking about what is the best play to make every single time you're on the ball um but yeah let's get into next game it's probably going to be him again if i had to guess but let's get into next game and try to win our second 1v1 game that was pretty solid pretty solid stuff and wait, why is my thing glitching out and yeah so that was a pretty good one to to learn some stuff from but also yeah kind of shows you guys to stop having that stigma of like these ones players are so far ahead of like threes players in terms of ones anyone can take a game off anyone and um especially players that like to think more as i do in ones and uh that's something that you will see forever in rocket league players that can grind the mode 
can definitely lose to people that just don't grind the mode because they just have a good understanding of the game. Um, but yeah, let's get into the next game. See if we can close it off with two good 1v1 wins. That was a very intense game. I'm glad he came back and made it more enjoyable. I think if that was just a blow game and he forfeited or something, it would have been pretty boring. But I'm very happy that he came back and he showed you guys like what he's got. This is a very, very, very talented once player and very good on the ball. Very good at getting kickoff possession ones, which is extremely important as well. Let's get into the next game. Let's see if we can keep it up. Back to my dubs. Let's see how it goes. All right, sweaty game here to end it off. Playing against Cam, another top NA ones player. So this game took me forever to find though. A little bit annoying. It's patient say. I'll take this mid boost. Fortunate that I die, but it might be enough. I think he has no boost now. He has to take it back, yeah. Starting from his back wall, pretty good first touch. I nice. had to block a few angles there, so the reason why I went so wide. Very, actually, very smart. Um, stop from him there. To play that patiently. Gonna be a good bounce for him. Nice. Took my time on that shot. I know he has no real way of challenging me, and it's another player. He plays honestly to me very similar to AJ in ones. Got a good kickoff, good at controlling the ball in the air. You gotta pick your challenges really smart. Like, see his kickoff always goes to the sidewall boost. And he almost always gets a pretty good uh, setup off of it. Going for another one here. I'll try to get in the way of this one. Pretty good touch. Doesn't give him a super easy free control. Try to get a soft touch here that I can follow. He's not gonna expect me to commit. That's kind of why I want to commit on that. Should be in nice i've been doing that more i noticed it's really overpowered you kind of just stay close to the ball in front of it something i see a lot of the saudi arabian players do like trk um very good once player stay close you backflip they don't actually see that you're staying that close nice perfect play perfect play i'm playing really well today I have a lot of confidence in my decisions but again these players man aj almost came back last game five goals down because we got good kickoffs Cam's got good kickoffs, got good solo plays in the air, so never truly over. Gotta try to use my brain as much as I possibly can. Good kickoff for me, and a very good finish. Nice. I don't feel super confident in this being uh, the case the whole game, though. I feel like I'm just getting a good streak of kickoffs. Also, I find it insane. Ah. Uh, I shouldn't have him for that play. I knew I shouldn't have him for that play because he's gonna go for an aggressive challenge every time on that. He gives me space, I just score, he knows that. So we gotta be careful on the comeback. Try to control this back. It's a good challenge for him. I play it to the corner, but he's gonna have a touch here. I'm not gonna full commit for the corner. Should be hard for him to get a pretty good play on this, but he still could. Yeah, he's very good in the flip reset positions. Honestly, that flip though is very RNG. Like he can very easily get a flip there that I get an easy save on. Then I just get a counter attack goal, right? I play for this corner. The demo. Should I play for quick shot? Nice. I was gonna say though, after that one game versus AJ, it's literally, that was my first game I played this whole season. I'm already top 100, I'm 60th, and I'm like 200 ELO above SSL. Somehow. So, I'm already like, I think I'm 60 or 70th. This is gonna be very hard to stop. Very good save, but no boost. Take this boost. Should I go for quick shot? I'm gonna go for one more touch to the other corner, take this boost. And I'll try to cut again here. It'll be hard for him to shoot. Got the boost, but I'm dead. It's gonna be a goal against 
Unless I have a really good spawn, I do. But yeah, he already had full control. It's worth for me to go full speed on that. Waiting is too much time. It's probably gonna get a. I mean, there's a few problems with waiting there. I don't really see him, so I don't know what he's doing. It's better to gain some momentum, really. Oh my gosh, the demo would have been really bad. I'm gonna go for the opposite corner, but I start a solo here. Okay, somehow I got bumped, but self control. I'm gonna try to bait him in. He starts to the right so I can still see where he is. Try to watch him the whole time. Take a, a shot to the top corner. What a save from him. It's gonna be a goal. We missed. We needed that. We really did need that there. Wow. I thought he'd panic on the fake challenge. We played it so calm. I could have just easily won that. Well played from him. I'm dead. Really? He had that much speed? Wow. Didn't feel like he had that much speed. Didn't seem possible. Gonna have a flick. Good save. Gotta get one or two pads here. Gotta watch the demo. I think I read him well, yeah. I knew he was gonna go for a bump, so I tried to play a little wider. And his touch, that was going back. I was able to just follow it. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a slow kick off here. That should be okay. It should be hard for him to get a play start out of that, was the main thing. I'll try to cut down the space early. Nice challenge. I'm gonna go one more for the opposite corner here. I'm dead. Should be enough. Really wish I spawned the opposite side though. That's a read I'm really confident in getting most of the time. It's like a read that happens in threes a lot. Should have been a goal. Got the boost, 15 seconds, just gotta kill time. Try to make him go for a very committed challenge here. I'll just play it back now. I gotta be very careful with the bumps though. Nice, perfectly played. Only way I just don't get demo there is going up the wall and I, I could still block the shot if I need to at the end. So I, I'll take that. Two, two pretty sweaty wins against two very good ones players. I made some mistakes here and there, but I mean, I can't really be too mad at that. It's not my mode that I'm most comfortable with. Obviously threes is that mode for me. Did a very good job, won both those games. And we start off the season at a perfect record, 2-0 in ones versus uh, two top 100 ones players. And where does that leave us off at? 63rd already, not too bad. I mean, can't really be uh, too upset with that. Two games in and we're 63rd, 15-12, very solid stuff. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night, whatever time it is. When you guys are watching this, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love y'all, peace.